Taking a look at question 9, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to count up the atoms in our equation. I have one nitrogen here times three, so there's three nitrogens in the first molecule, one nitrogen times four, so there's four nitrogens in the second molecule, three plus four is going to give us seven. There are four uh, hydrogens here times three for the parentheses, four times three is going to be twelve. Phosphorus, I have one because there is no subscript. Oxygen, I have four, and I have to add in the oxygens over here as well. Three times four is 12. 12 plus four is going to give us 16 oxygens total. And I have one lead. On the product side, looking for the nitrogens first, I have one nitrogen right here. So we're going to say one. Hydrogens, I have four. Okay, I apologize, let's go back here. I have one nitrogen here and one nitrogen here, so I have a total of two. Phosphorus, I have one here times for the parentheses is four. Oxygens, I have four times four is going to be 16. We're also going to add in these three over here. That's going to give us 19 oxygens. And our lead, we have three of them. So initially this equation looks really difficult to balance because our nitrogens 2 doesn't multiply into 7. Uh, we could start with hydrogen. Um, I want to start with something a little bit easier. So what I'm going to start with is simply balancing out the leads. I'm going to start all the way down here at the bottom instead and I'm going to say alright 1 can go into 3. I'm going to change this coefficient to 3 that's going to change this lead to 3. It's also going to affect the nitrogens and the oxygens. So we have 4 nitrogens. 1 times 4 for the parentheses. 4 times 3 is 12 plus the 3 over here is going to give us 15. Let's put that in red so we can account for it. And it's going to affect the oxygens. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 times 3 is going to be 36. We're going to add in the 4 oxygens here. It's going to bring us 36 plus 4 up to a grand total of 40. Okay, so now my leads match. Then I want to go ahead and try and make my phosphorus match. So I'm going to bring my 4 phosphorus here, okay? And I'm going to change this coefficient instead to a 4. That's going to change this number to 4. That's the easy one. Now we have to account for the nitrogens, the hydrogens, and the oxygens. So I have 1 times 3 for nitrogen. So 3 nitrogens times 4. Nitrogen is going to go up to 12. 12 plus 4 times 3 is 12. This is going to give us 24 nitrogens now, 12 plus 12. Hydrogens, we're going to have 4 times 3, which is 12 hydrogens when we account for the parentheses. 12 times 4 is going to give us 48 hydrogens on this side. So we're going to change this number to 48. And our oxygens, 4 times 4 is going to give us 16 here. And then we had our 3 times 4 for this one, times 3. So we have 36 oxygens in this one, and we have 16 oxygens in this one. 36 plus 16 is going to give us 52 oxygens total. So we have a whole bunch of oxygens. Okay. Now we've gotten our phosphorus to match. We've gotten our lead to match. We need to try and get these other ones to line up. So what we're going to do is we're going to start now with nitrogen. So 2 times blank equals 24. 2 times 12 equals 24. All right, this is going to give us 24 nitrogens right here. It's also going to mess with our hydrogens. So we're going to say 4 times 12, that's going to give us 48. So we're going to change this to 48. Doesn't change our phosphorus. Phosphorus isn't is this in this. It does affect our oxygen. So we're going to say 12 times 3. That's going to give us 36 oxygens here. 
and then we need to add in our 16 oxygens here. This gives us a grand total of 52, 24 and 24, 48 and 48, 4, 4, 52, 52, 3, and 3. Question 9 is now balanced.